Well, we're going to be doing a little walk around video here. We are over by the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. They added some new things over here. Some of them I'm extremely excited about. We're going to end with the one that I'm most excited about and start over here. So all these are different references to different films or different uh, things around the Walt Disney World Resort. Starting off here, we've got the rodeo. Witness the amazing Slewfoot Sioux from the 10th to 11th of August. Oh, we just missed it. The one and only catfish riding cowgirl. If you've ever seen Pecos Bill, you know that Slewfoot Sioux is Pecos Bill's girlfriend. You can actually find the pictures of Slewfoot Sioux right down the street here at Pecos Bill's Tall Tale in a Cafe. Right below that, this is an actual advertisement that we can find over at Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, but it actually pays tribute to a Disney film as well. When in Quake City, shake things up at the Hard Times Cafe. Staple and fancy um, since 1945. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but if um, try the Apple Dumplings, a specialty of the house. This, of course, is a reference to the Apple Dumpling Gang, the Apple Dumpling Gang takes place in Quake City. It was a 1975 film starring Don Knotts and Tim Conway. And they of course had a sequel as well, which I think came out in 1979, could be wrong on that year, uh, called The Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again. Over next to that, we've got one of the most obvious ones that we can find here. Here tonight, the Hoop to Do review featuring the Pioneer Hall players. Fine singing, fancy dancing, fun for all. This is a reference to the Hoop to Do review, which can be found over at Fort Wilderness Campground. If you've never done it, I highly recommend it. It is so much fun to go check out. Right below that, we've got a one that is a little bit more of an obscure thing, but you also actually have a reference to this over at Fort Wilderness Campground. World-renowned at Dr. Terminus, come one, come all, remedies for instant relief and miracle cures. Dr. Terminus was the doctor who, well, he was a con man, but he was in the 1977 film, Pete Stragan. He was the one who could not figure out how to pronounce Passamaquoddy. Passamaquoddy? 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 What's it called? Passamaquoddy! Um, our second to last one that we're going to take a look at here is Noticed, Gold Miners Wanted, Board and Room, Daily Meals, Weekly Bass, Big Thunder Mount Mining Company, Barnabas T. Bullion is the president. This is, of course, a reference to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is right over here. If you've ever gone through the line, you may have seen a picture of Barnabas T. Bullion. Um, he actually looks like Tony Baxter, the Imagineer, who is actually the main Imagineer for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Oh, wait, all of those are great. However, the last one we're gonna take a look at here, I, I'm gonna read it because most people probably have never even heard of this movie, but it is in my top five Disney movies of all time. And I'm freaking out that now we have a reference to this film because there's never been a reference to this film anywhere, anywhere on Disney property. It says hundreds of acres, which is actually part of the plot line of the film of land for sale on 10 years credit at six per count interest and or percent interest and low prices silver hill colorado in a movie a man quits his job as a banker because he inherits hundreds of acres of land from silver hill colorado and that film was snowball express it is without a doubt one of my favorite disney films of all time it's a live action film starring dean jones came out in the 1970s and it's amazing if you've never seen it. It's on Disney Plus. It's an absolutely amazing film. It's one of my family's favorites. We used to watch it all the time. And I've never, I've literally been looking for years, like literally at least the last 13 years since I started doing videos and books and all that other fun stuff about Disney for a reference to Snowball Express someplace in the parks. And we finally have it in the most obscure spot in the entire world, right next to the Frontierland Shooting Arcade, hundreds of acres, Silver Hill, Colorado. What? This is the greatest day of my entire life. I am freaking out right now. I'm like, I cannot. <laughs> now we just need a candle shoe reference and my life will be complete. Holy cow. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up this little, I don't even, this is not a Disney details episode. This is just a, hey, let's walk around and look at some cool things here, detail or video. Um, so thank you for joining us for me the last four and a half minutes. That, that is my, that's like one of my favorite references I've ever seen in the parks. I've been looking for a great reference that's gonna blow me away for years. And this is the first one in years that is like, oh, my mind is blown. That is the coolest thing in the world. 
Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up right here. Thank you for joining us once again. If you've not liked this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And until tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah.